go. Yeah, I'm in another tower. Keep five minutes of footage. That's note to myself. And as soon as I get myself in a safe position, I'll explain what's going on. Last time, I got a gold shield. Yay, the shield of kings. And now I'm in another tower. Still not the tower I intended to go to, but I decided while I'm here, why not? So look out for bugs. Roaches and towers. That's just disgusting. There's holes in towers. Does that make them holy? Absolutely not. And providing that I am in the tower I want to be in, I am going to get a said delicious item. There we go, in a parallel zone. Well, enemies are tougher. They like to corner you. Hopefully you don't go in the wrong corner. In parallel zones, I should explain more, are the exact same thing that you've been traveling through. Except the enemies are a lot tougher. But they hide very, very special items. Delicious items, in fact. And you will definitely want to get them. So let's carefully tread up here. Because this is one of the safer parallel zones. I say that very cautiously. Especially when I have to deal with ghosts. And using up all my delicious red drinks. 50 hit points. I'll get some items. I want to make sure I kill the ghost. I want to make sure I get that hi hyper helmet. Did I just say hyper helmet? A gold helmet. A hyper helmet. And this is totally awesome. However, note. Also, there should have been a heart container there, but no more. What I was about to say, note. You can't go to the end boss or leave the tower if you're in a parallel zone. But I am still climbing. Because the end of the parallel zone just happens to be near the boss. Magma, you're taking on a deadly tower boss? Are you insane? Surely the boss would be much tougher than the regular enemies that you've been facing? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Oh yeah, I do need to climb down. And also, that's a weird slime. That's one of the weirdest slimes I've ever seen. It's like the big bouncy one, except it's smaller, and it's bouncing in weird directions. That's just plain weird. Speaking of weird, bats. Their pattern is obvious, but they're still deadly. At least they're not the extremely deadly, extremely fast ones. Gee, Magma, is there anything in this game that isn't deadly? Nope. So let's go ahead and face the boss. Three drinks, lovely. It's the centipede, oh my. And what's this centipede doing? He's dropping bombs. Some people like to stay in the corners and hide. That's a pretty good idea. But this guy actually has a pretty obvious pattern. And if I pay attention more... I might be able to win. It takes a lot of hits, though. Oh my! Is this riveting or what? Or are you just being riveted? The dolls, bosses will die eventually. See? I killed a boss. And you go into a seizure. 
But more importantly, I got a Hell's Bell. And fortunately, I do keep those whether I live or die. So back into the tower I go. And of course, all my enemies respawn. And I could take a shortcut. But that won't be longer than me just exiting it out. So yeah, I could go back into the parallel zone if I missed any items. But keep this in mind. Once you defeat the boss and get the bell, you cannot go back in the tower. And if you don't get the bell, the boss will respawn. But why wouldn't you collect the bell after defeating a hard boss like that? Hard, Magma. That was easy. That was just sloppy. So I need to be quick being sloppy. No, I don't think I'll quit being sloppy. That's just who I am. Also, enemies can get stuck on you. So before they get stuck on you, stick them with your sword. Indeed. You may want to go in the towers in a different order than I am. In fact, you probably will. Once I find the correct dungeon. Also, you'll notice that dragon only did three damage with this fireball. Hyper Helmet is awesome. Dodging enemies is pretty awesome too. So down the tower I go. But seriously, who paints their tower lavender? Maybe a gal? Or a guy who likes purple? Well, it is a dark royal purple. And purple is supposed to represent wealth. That's what it did in the olden days. And now that I'm outside, you notice the entrance is no longer there. Okay, Magma. It's okay, smart guy. Now that I have a better tower, Bell. What do I do with it? Well, first of all, let's go to the Sacred Flame. Are you doing what I think you're doing? Yes, I'm doing what you think you're doing. I'm doing what should have been done a long time ago. I'm throwing this bell in the Sacred Flame. And I recover full health. That's actually pretty awesome. And now it shows that the bell has been burnt. Oh my. And let me go ahead and switch to another video here. Because I'm kind of thirsty. Mmm, delicious burnt bell. That's the inside, what your insides look like after you eat that Taco Bell. Uh, one moment. <laughs> 